Hey everyone, welcome to another live edition of my uh of my live tea tasting. Blah, blah, blah. I'm having uh I'm having difficulties tonight. <laughs> I missed last week because I was uh I went to the movies, but I'm back and uh, ready for action. Um you guys have responded to my poll, so uh this is the the one that you picked. Tonight we're doing a uh a blend that's exclusively at the State Street uh, Adagio store. Purple Mountain Majesty. This is uh, Ben's Purple Mountain Majesty, I should say. Uh, he was the winner of the last seasonal tea contest. So uh, he, this was uh, his his project. Um, I voted for it. Uh, it was a close race. Uh, I, I'm guessing it was a close race. I didn't see the results. But um, it... it he was the one who won at the store, and he won the poll uh, as well. So we're doing this one tonight, and uh, I've had a tiny taste, just a little tiny taste. It was really good, so I'm I'm glad to be featuring this tonight. Um, I let him know about it. He's on my friends list. He he's been, he might be busy tonight. Liana, welcome, welcome. He was. Uh, he said that he'd be busy tonight, so he may or may not drop by. We'll see. Uh, if he does, it'll probably be at the later end of the po uh, not podcast uh, uh, of the stream. But we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the water going uh, because this is actually a very. Uh, no, I'm not cheating. <laughs> I, I have had uh some uh i have sampled some of my previous teas before uh michelle welcome uh i, I meant dev i meant dev because i know we have a michelle that comes in later Teresa, welcome and uh, we also have a nicole that may or may not show up as well so dev welcome <laughs> Um, anyway, this is a very interesting blend. Uh, I did taste it. <laughs> Shayna, welcome. I know you're, you're still a little bit sore about the, uh, about the results, because I, I know you're a personal pick, and I know the reason why, but not to worry, it'll, we'll, we'll get to it. It's on the ballot. Um, but anyway, it's a very, uh, interesting, um, Hey Ma, welcome. It's a very interesting blend. It's a pu'er, and um, I, I don't, I haven't done a whole lot of pu'ers here, uh, but this one, it's uh, the the sample that I did have was was really good. So I decided to put it on the ballot, and well, this one won. So without further ado, we go ahead and pull this out. Purple Mountain Majesty. Uh, it's got pu it's got pu'er hazelberry, uh, Irish breakfast, cinnamon, and lavender. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop this puppy open. Oh, and it, the package is a little bit stuck behind the price tag. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't a pretty tear. You can see, kind of just. But Georgie, welcome. I'm gonna tell you guys, this was this was a really good one. Ooh, thanks, JJ. Well, thank you. Ooh, that's a good one. This is, it's a nice mellow smell. Uh, normally, pu'er is very uh, pungent. Uh, it's usually really, really strong. But in this case, um, it's usually got like a little bit of a, uh, of a rum kind of scent to it. But uh, I guess the lavender is getting, uh, is calming it down a little bit. Because lavender tends to have a really strong uh, scent, but when you're competing with two of these, these are balanced really well. And you can smell the cinnamon also. It's like the the cinnamon base is really good. Uh, I don't get a whole lot of the um, of the Irish breakfast, but I'm sure it'll come out in the taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this out. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty good amount. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Oh, and I forgot to set up the flash. Ha ha! I'm still getting used to it. I keep forgetting that that feature is there. But uh, I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. As you can see, it's a very 
it's a very colorful tea. I mean, you have like the really dark, uh, the dark Irish breakfast and the puer. Um, you have the cinnamon, the cinnamon bark, the lighter browns, all of the, um, it's almost orange, a little bit bronze in there, uh, and the light flex. It looks light in the, uh, in the flash, but that's all of the, the lavender. So you can see it's a, it's, it's quite a colorful, a colorful, uh, blend. And we'll see... Oh, I gotta see, yeah, it's hard to tell because the flash is on, or the, the flashlight, but it's just about up to here, where my pinky's pointing. Um, as the height of it, we're going to see how much this uh, expands once it's wet. Here we go. And I can hear right now, my water's almost done. Um, it's actually, I'm, I'm going to be steeping this for about, it, it says three minutes. Uh, Pu'er is a very strong tea, so it could probably last for about five. Um, I'm going to go with the recommendation this time around, because uh, I don't want to oversteep it. It's really, really hard to oversteep Pu'er, because, um, like I've mentioned in my previous pod, uh, I keep calling it a podcast, in my previous streams, um, it's already fermented, so it's really difficult to oversteep, but my main concern is the Irish breakfast. The Irish breakfast is a, uh, just a general black tea, and that can be oversteeped. I don't know how much Irish breakfast is in, uh, is in the blend, so if it's overpowering, it, uh, it, it runs a chance of ruining the taste a little bit, so I'm gonna go with... Uh, the recommendations and set it for about three minutes uh, and and we'll see how it goes now I'm I, I have to go buy this one the little um, the little sample that I had really really tasted good um, and it was prepared by the creator himself so he knows what he's talking about and there we go I'm steeping this at 212 degrees, and I'm setting my timer. Still getting used to doing this one-handed. There we go. So in about three minutes, it's going to uh, it's going to pop, uh, and I'll let you know what it uh, what it's like. Now I don't I don't know. I'm a little bit slightly congested, so I'm not going. I don't know how how strong the scent is going to be. Um, but I'm sure it's gonna, it's, it's, I mean, when I was at the, the store, it smelled amazing, and it's been in the pot, already brewed, um, so I know kind of what to expect, but we'll see where it's going. I'm trying to smell it now, but it's a little bit, a little bit difficult. I don't know what happened with me yesterday, uh, but, like, I, I I've been having some sort of sinus thing. I'm glad I haven't gotten a cold uh, this entire this entire winter, which I'm fingers crossed it's not going to hit me at all. Uh, but yes, it's a, it's affecting my sense of smell a little bit. Uh, so while we wait, I'm gonna open up the floor to any questions, any comments that you may have um, about this blend. Because it's, I'm really interested in uh, what you guys think. Because I know you don't know a whole. Well, you may not know a whole lot about poor because I don't cover it very often. Um, along with Irish breakfast, I'm going to do a. Um, I'm, I'm I'm going to do a comparison. Uh, I do have on my hands uh, some Scottish breakfast. I want to get some plain old Irish breakfast and plain old English breakfast and uh, run a comparison of all three at one point. Uh, I don't know when that'll be. Oh, it's done. It'll... I have, by the way, I have named him Quackhead. So that is... <laughs> that if he was alive, he would hate me for his entire life. But yeah, his name is Quackhead. <laughs> You know me and my puns. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm glad you like that, Liana. 
me and my, uh, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Me and my love of the, of humor. Um, oh, and there was one thing I forgot to mention, uh, just like last, just like last week, uh, not last week, the week before, um, I am no longer, Anna, welcome! I'm no longer sweetening my tea, uh, just to give you guys a more pure review. Pun master, yes I am. So, here I am, going into it, al fresco. Oh, now that's a really nice color. It's a nice, beautiful bronze, where it's kind of... Ooh, don't want to overdo it. There we go. It's, it's kind of on the verge of red, which is a really, really beautiful color for a tea. Um, it's, I, I tend to like my, uh, like my tea a little bit strong, uh, and when a, a tea is like that dark and black and, I mean, something like that, um, it's, I'm a little bit hesitant to, uh, to dive right in because that tends to be a little bit, um, it, it tends to become bitter, but pu'er is naturally a um, a strong flavor. But it's not. It's it. It never has that bitter aftertaste. And as as from what I've seen and what I've had before, um, it's really hard to make bitter. So here goes. Oh, that's really nice. Now that I have it like right on my nose, it's a very. It's a very soft scent, uh, which is which is kind of it's kind of strange for uh, for a pu'er to have a soft uh, a soft uh, scent to it because generally it's really strong. Uh, but I think it's because it's got the uh, hazelnut and uh, and berries in it that it kind of all mixes together and gives it a more well-rounded, less punchy kind of smell. Um, Plus the lavender is still alive and kicking, and it's giving it that undertone of um, of perfume. It's got like a, a little bit of a perfumey uh, scent to it, so it's balancing really, uh, really well. And here we go. Ooh, that's really nice. I'm glad that I didn't um, that I didn't sweeten this. Because I think I would have missed like some of the, the, the notes of the berries in there. It's got a really it's got a really nice depth to it. There's two flavors in my mouth right now. There's kind of like a fruity, nutty kind of um, overtone to it. But then there's the lavender, the lavender kick in the back. It's it's kind of like refreshing, which is which is strange for to describe a, a, a pu'er as um, as refreshing because it's got generally a very um, a very hard taste to it. It's it's usually got like like I, I like I, I described it once as a whiskey barrel. Uh, where you get the the wood, you get the kind of alcoholic but not quite uh, effervescence to it. That that kind of um, like you know how when you when you drink alcohol, uh, you have that kind of an airy aftertaste. It's got uh, poor normally has that. This one has it, but to a a lesser degree because um, generally it leaves like a bit of a gap. Greg, welcome. Uh, generally, it leaves a little bit of a gap between the hard uh, flavor of the fermentation and the little bit of an aftertaste uh, afterwards. Uh, the the hazelnut and the the berries kind of fill in the gap a little bit, so you're not left with like just a just uh, I, I, I I hesitate to. Describe it as like a black and white kind of feeling where you get two distinct tastes. Um, this one is more, it's more well-rounded. Like it, it leads up to it. 
Oh, you could say there's like a gray area. I want to compare it. When I first drank it, there was a there was a, a, an interesting description, and I, I'm getting I'm getting it now. Um, it's like a bit of a like a French toast, but without the syrup. You have like a French toast um, taste to it, like you have the the like you taste the the batter, uh, the egg. Um, the, the, the sweetness of the cinnamon that adds to it, uh, it comes out really, really well. Uh, you can probably pair this with the, um, what is it? The one that I was calling Canadian breakfast, the uh, maple, maple cream oolong. That's what it was. That would probably go really well with this. If I ever, uh, if I ever do a side-by-side -side competition kind of thing, that might be, a, that might be good. Ooh, I'm liking this. All right, I'm going to show you guys uh, what it lo what it expanded to. I'm trying not to drip it anywhere. Am I good? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna. No, drop it, drop it. <laughs> My fingers are too big sometimes. Alright, there we go. Now, as you can see, there has been a good amount of uh, of expansion. It looks like it came up to about here. I'm getting a little bit of the reflection, so it's hard to see. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint, but yeah, it went from down here to up here. So we're looking at about twice as big as it was before, give or take. And take a look at that, like... It looks like the entire tea got darker. You see, like the lavender has taken on a uh, a deeper purple, as it used to be a little bit white. Now it's more green and purple uh, than it was before. The notes of cinnamon bark um, look a little bit darker. With it looks more bronze. Uh, you get the black tea is even blacker. The brown tea is browner. So that's that's a very interesting effect. Uh, when it soaks in the water, the colors become a lot uh, a lot more concentrated. Oh, i got to wipe off my fingers before I touch my phone again. <laughs> Otherwise, hey, hey, nope. Doggone it. Switch. <laughs> oh, yeah, I spilled a teeny tiny bit. I was testing it too. I don't know why it did that. But let me go ahead and get one of my rags. Because if I don't get to it now, it'll probably stay in the floor and I wouldn't want that. Oh, okay. There we go. I already have enough uh, <laughs> tea stains speckling my floor here and there, so... I try to avoid it when I can, and I just uh, I just mopped too, like last week or the week before. So doggone it, can't have anything nice. <sighs> oh, excuse me. So you guys have any questions, any comments, anything you want to talk about while I uh, take my next sip? Mmm, this is like. It's actually very refreshing. Like, like it's starting to, to cool off a little bit, and you get this um, this sensation of the like the perfume of the lavender is is becoming slightly more uh, more pronounced, uh, which is actually surprising because um, lavender is really hard to place. Sometimes, how's life? Life is grand. <laughs> what can I say? Everything is awesome. Uh, we're the weather's starting to warm up. Springtime is coming, and you know I I can't wait because I hate winter so so incredibly much. And there are people who say hate is a strong word. Well, yeah, I hate winter. <laughs> it's such a bummer, but thankfully it's almost over. 
the 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 perfume of the lavender is like starting to come out a little bit more, uh, which I tend to. Um, yeah, it is about time. I I miss eighty degree weather, uh, but yeah, it's like generally when I when I mix lavender into my teas, um, I usually mix it with herbal with herbal things like uh, peppermint. Uh, spearmint, chamomile, lemongrass, things like that. Um, because I know that the perfume might o can easily overpower things. Uh, so when I when I do it with uh, with some of the herbal ones, um, I make sure that they're all really strong so that it blends together and and nothing like really pops. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've I, I I've come to really appreciate this because I, I Pu'er it never occurred to me. Uh, ben is uh, he loves Pu'er. We've had a lot of discussions about that, and I didn't know a whole lot about Pu'er. I have had it before, um, but I was kind of inexperienced when when we first started talking. Uh, rating the tea from 1 to 10, that's difficult. Uh, I would have to say it's, it's a solid 8 or 9. Well, it can't be solid if it's 8 or 9, but it's up there. <laughs> this is, it's an excellent tea. I really like it. Um, but yeah, he, he shared quite a bit of his, uh, poor... Uh, he, it was actually his, he's the reason why I call it Pu'er instead of Pu'er. I've always called it Pu'er, and he joked that it's Pu'er, but it sounds kind of snobby. Well, you know, me trying to be as accurate as I can, I don't mind being snobby, slightly. A little bit. A little snob never hurt anybody. A big snob, on the other hand, well, you get the idea. But, <laughs> a little bit snobby. Not too bad. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the uh, the Pu'er process. Um, because it takes a very special um, environment to grow Pu'er. Zero, zero to give. What do you mean? Like uh, zero, like you don't know anything about the Pu'er to rate it yourself? Or... I'm not quite sure what you meant by that. Um, you you keep on typing. I'll I'll fill in the blanks. Uh, but yeah, the the process is very uh, is very interesting um, because of the way that it's it's made. Uh, it grows in a certain area that's uh, dark and damp, uh, and the fermentation process starts on the uh, on the tree. So, oh oh okay, oh, I got you. <laughs> Uh, the fermentation the fermentation process starts on the tree. Uh, it's called microbial for uh, microbial fermentation. I always struggle with microbial or microbial. I, I always add that R in there, and I know that it shouldn't be. Uh, but yeah, microbial <laughs> microbial fermentation is where the, the plant starts fermenting itself while it's still alive and on the leaf. So after it's pulled out, after it's dried, um, the process, it doesn't really need a whole lot of processing because most of the work is already done. Um, you just dry it, pack it, and ship it. Uh, normally it's packed in bricks, and uh, you just grab some, put it in your, uh, put it in your cup, brew it and you're good to go uh but that yeah it, it should be my own word uh because <laughs> microbial makes it sound more more scientific like cerebral no that's not a word <laughs> cerebral but with an e in there somewhere it's my own word so i can spell it however i like anyway uh, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, the, the process is already mostly done on the, the, the tree itself. So all you have to do is pull it, pack it, and, and ship it, you're good to go. Uh, but that also helps it not oversteep, because, um, all of the, 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 
the chemicals that are released when it's oversteeped are usually already out because it's already fermented. Uh, so you don't get that uh, that aftertaste uh, that you normally get from uh, from like a, a regularly processed black tea. Um, it's a really good uh, it, it, it's a really good tea for people to to test. Um, it's a bit of an acquired taste if you're if you're used to regular black teas or, or even green teas. It's very different from what you would expect a uh, a tea to taste like. <gasps> oh, excuse me. But it all comes from the same plant, so you'd imagine that pulling it off the leaf um, as it is and and keeping the processing to a minimum, you would get a more traditional black tea flavor, uh, but instead you get um, a kind of alcoholic, a kind of, um, how do I, how do I explain it? Like a, a little bit fruity because some fruits go through the same process um, to make wine uh, as well. You, so you get like the wood, uh, like, like when I call it a whiskey barrel, I mean the actual barrel. Because you get like the 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 whiskey soaked into the dry wood, um, and 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 it's it's a nice mixture of flavors. I don't drink alcohol. I never uh, I never have on purpose. <laughs> Some of you guys know the know the stories, but um, I, I'm not a drinker. But what you smell when you smell a whiskey bottle, um, you get that. That essence from it, it's it's a good, uh, it's a good indicator of what it should uh, of what it should taste like, and you get that in in pour. Mm. Oh, that's so good! It's actually, it's become like like the more it cools down, the more refreshing it becomes. Um, you know how when you drink mint tea or something like that you get that that cooling sensation i'm getting something similar with the um i'm getting something similar with the lavender now it's not as profound as mint uh but then again what is you know i mean like mint has a very distinct flavor um it's yeah it's poor is definitely an acquired taste um but for me it was pretty easy to acquire because I liked the earthiness. I liked the it's tastes kind of like the the ground itself. You know, I don't want to. I, I struggle to say dirt because it's not a dirt flavor, um, but it's like the the ground itself, the the earth, um, a little bit uh, a little bit dried grass. Um, you get like a little bit. Uh, a little bit smoky, depending on uh, on the flavor. Like straight up pu'er that looks like it's uh, like wood chips. That is some good stuff. And that's the first one that I had. It was like extremely dried leaves, uh, mulchy. Yeah, that's that's a good word for it. Mulchy. You get because you get like a, a very lively flavor to it. Oh my computer! Wake up! There we go. <laughs> I gotta keep uh, I gotta keep my Facebook open because sometimes I get some uh, some messages that I can't check on my phone. So, as you've seen on occasion, it does happen. Very inconvenient. No. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Oh, I think like I, the more that I drink of this. The more I appreciate it without the um, without the the without the sugar, I mean, well, I don't put sugar. I usually put the stevia, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Like it doesn't it doesn't need the sweetness. It's got its own really well rounded flavor, um, and I think that over the years I've spoiled myself and um, sweetened pretty much everything, and it's like. I, I feel like I've been short selling myself with this one. Like it doesn't need it. I would still do it for myself, but not 
out of need, more like out of habit. <laughs> I am a creature of habit, as you guys know, and it's just really, really difficult to uh, to to consider drinking tea without the uh, without a sweetener. But this one really doesn't need it. I mean, honestly, I think that if I were to sweeten it, I would use honey instead. Um, I'm kind of debating if I want to pull out the honey. The only problem is, like, the honey is kind of cold, so the pump isn't working very well, and that's, like, kind of sucky. But, I mean, I'm good without it. So, I'm opening up the floor again. You guys, throw something at me. Syrup. Syrup, um, well, yeah, syrup might go well just because this tastes like French toast uh, a little bit. So, I think the syrup might be a good uh, a good substitute. And I like syrup. Am I? No, I'm not ready for a refill yet. I'm like, I always do that. Like, I always kind of gauge uh, how deep I am into, uh, into the cup. Because I know that if I go through it too fast, it's, it's not going to go out. It's not going to go very well. So, I, I tend to... Uh, drink it slowly but surely, just to make sure that you guys get a full uh, a full review. Honey Stroopwafel, yes, that would go very well. I would actually dip a Honey Stroopwafel in this. Um, tea is not exactly a dippable <laughs> kind of beverage, but I think that the taste of this with the uh, Honey Stroopwafel would go pretty well. Oh, I'm really appreciating the lavender in this. Like, I would have never, I would have never in a million years thought to pair lavender with any kind of pour. Um, but it's really, it's really going well. Now, I had that little sample and that was, it was a hot, hot cup, maybe that big, just shot, good to go. Um... But now that I'm sitting here and I'm actually enjoying a whole cup, um, I can, well, oh yeah, I, I'm sure I can dunk biscuits in tea, but, like, I am the kind of person who would dunk uh, cookies in milk. I used to dunk the old uh, Hostess cakes, the, uh, I think they were like ding-dongs, right? Uh, well, yeah, cookies. Uh, but I know that the biscuits you're talking about are not general chocolate chip cookies, uh, but rather like the, the, like the, the English break, the English breakfast, the English cookies, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it, it, it'll hit me. You're the resident, uh, you're the resident expert on, on England and everything British. So you'll, 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 you'll explain it for me, I'm sure. Now, this tea is uh, shortbread. Yes, that's what it is. Uh, this tea is very... Um, it's scented pretty well, too. I, I wanted to take a, a, a moment to to appreciate the way that it smells as you bring it to your mouth. Because that, that is, is really important to look at, uh, to look at in this tea. Uh, it, it, it contributes a lot to, to the taste of it. And, um, I, I am having some sinus issues. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Uh, but when I bring it to my mouth, the entire, the entire cup, uh, follows up. Poopers, welcome! I'm glad you could make it and you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> that's usually, uh, that's usually the case. But I'm glad you made it, because we have missed you. We've all, all missed you. Especially me, but, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to come across as mushy and all that, you know. Because I'm not in touch with my feelings. Mm. Not yet, I'll give it about five minutes, and then you'll be passed out. Okay, now it's time for a refill. 
<laughs> There's that beautiful copper color. Whoa! I had a splash. A little splash moment. Oh, yeah. I got some on me. I think I drank a little bit more than I thought because it's like, usually there's more in there. <laughs> what can I say? I got a little uh, overzealous. Hey, Alicia, welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. You have been disappeared. I'm glad you can make it, though. Oh. And now that it's, it's kind of like, I want to say, I don't want to call it lukewarm, but it's, it's, um, it's a little bit hotter and this is the kind of tea, I don't think it'll, it, it would do well iced, um, normally because the, uh, I, I struggle, Alicia, Alicia, I'll just call you Dawn, everybody knows Dawn. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I I do that on occasion. I I go back and forth. Alicia, Alicia, whatever. I'll call you Dawn, because that's so much easier. One syllable, you can't screw it up. I'll figure out a way somehow, but <laughs> for now, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, goldfish is that I. If that is a, a a nickname, it's a very interesting one. I don't know how somebody would go about getting the uh, getting the nickname Goldfish. Oh, that was David. So he uh, he tackled you down, typed it in, and now you said this is David, and you're currently beating him up. I gotcha. Anna is at the well. She might be home. I don't know. She was at the mall when I was coming in. Uh, her sisters, her sisters, her sister uh, was uh, was taking her there. So they're out doing their uh, shopping trip. Oh, two, two second memory span. That makes sense. Uh, they they went on a girls' night. So, yay! Hope they bring me back a present. Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, they're uh, they're out having fun. Anyway, back to back to the reason why we're here. <laughs> we're so angry right now. I can sense the hostility. You need some tea. Um, oh, that was another thing. Um, caffeine. I'm not quite sure how caffeinated it is. Um, I'm assuming that it's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good on the caffeine because it's it's poor with. Um, Oh, I'm assuming that you're 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 back to David now, because <laughs> you're saying she calls you. So welcome, David. Everybody's welcome here. Um, yes, I get nothing. This is uh, Purple Mountain Majesty. It's a uh, oh yeah, it's it's an excellent tea. Um, it's a blend that's only at the State Street uh, location at Adagio. They this was the winner of this current season. Um, and it was, it's, it's well-deserved. Uh, hopefully, I, I'm hoping that we're, we're going to be on, on for about another 20 minutes. Uh, I'm hoping that Ben does drop in and, uh, and say hi, at least. Uh, <laughs> but he is, he's busy, he's working, so we'll see. Um, anyway, I let him know. Uh, you picked it too on the poll. Yeah, I saw. Like this one, this one did so. Did, it did pretty well uh, on the. It, it did pretty well on the poll. I think it got like ten votes. Um, second place was uh, Paulette's uh, Lemon Elephant, which got five. Um, and well, I've had a whole bag of Lemon Elephant, so I know what to expect. But it's worth definitely checking out because. Uh, I am a big fan of that tea. It's I don't want to I don't want to put too much. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm going to have you guys vote for it. Although it was the second runner up, um, I will. I'm pretty confident that it will win next week. Uh, but 
I gotta give you guys the choice. Uh, plus, I'll be adding a uh, a new one to take Ben's place, so you'll have another selection to uh, to go by. Um, mm -hmm. But anyway, back to the uh, back to the 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 tea itself. Uh, it's sold exclusively at the State Street location at Adagio, um, and it's it's a really good tea. Like it's it's got pour in it, uh, lavender. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can do it by, by uh, by memory. It's pu'er hazelberry, uh, lavender, Irish breakfast, and cinnamon. Hazelberry pu'er, Irish breakfast, cinnamon, lavender. Yep, I'm good. It's in there. But <laughs> anyway, uh. So pu'er hazelberry, I believe it's got hazelnuts. I don't remember what um, what berries are in it. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up real quick. Open sesame. Okay, I'm gonna run a quick search. Pu'er pu'er hazelberry. It's got, um, hey, where is it? I have it on here, but it doesn't say what's in it. Um, oh, because I picked up the, the iced tea version. Let me go back there. Is that the only? Is that the only one? Yeah, that's the only one. That, that's strange. Normally they have the. Um... Okay, so apparently this is from from just the description. It doesn't have a list of um, of ingredients, but it's got uh, pu'er, uh, hazelnut, and strawberries. So that gives it a nice, uh, uh, that, that blends well with the nice, like, sweetness that I've been talking about. Uh, this tea should really help with relaxation because of the lavender. Well, generally, I would agree, except for the fact, uh, Vanessa, welcome! This is, uh, my cousin Vanessa. She's joining us for the first time. Hi! Uh, <laughs> anyway, um... Normally, I would say that the lavender would be relaxing, but the caffeine in it would kind of counteract that. Um, but generally, tea caffeine is not a very jittery kind of caffeine. So I'd say that you'd be, you, you would be more aware uh, rather, than, rather than like all that ex uh, excess energy. So you get this, what's up? Uh, you get this kind of, well, like in general... Tea, uh, the caffeine in tea makes you more, uh, more focused and, and less nervous. So I could say that you would be, uh, relaxed, but you wouldn't be, you wouldn't get sleepy relaxed. It would be more like a mellow kind of feeling. Uh, the lavender does help with, uh, with like if you're stressed out, um, if you're, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like tense? Stuff like that, it, it helps massively. Uh, but the caffeine in there would help you focus. So I would say if you need like a midday pick-me-up, uh, if you're at work and you need something to uh, to help you hone in and concentrate, this would be the kind of tea that you would want to drink uh, because it would help you reduce the stress, help you focus more, and help um, help productivity. I mean, overall, that's 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 why I drink uh, tea at, at work. It helps me. Uh, it helps me concentrate more. Um, and certain blends do certain things. So if I'm having like a really really stress uh, stressful day, I'd pop in something that's not caffeinated, uh, very well scented, and has a bit of a relaxant. Um, there was one that I've done. <laughs> you need a midlife pick me up. Well, I, this is a tea that would help. 
Uh, it would probably help you, um, not focus, but uh, change perspective, I'd say, uh, depending on what you're doing while you drink it. Um, but there is a tea of my own making. I think I've mentioned this before, but I, I it's my go-to tea uh, when I'm having a really, really super stressed day. Uh, I called it Lady Calm Your Teats, and it's some good stuff. Uh, I've mentioned it before, my friend Maria posed for the picture, and she approves of the flavor, she approved of the picture, she approved of, of the packaging, so she's got her thumbs up on it, I got my thumbs up on it, um, and honestly, when I, when I drink that, it helps me so much, uh, to get mellow and, and deal with customers, uh, a lot better. Because, you know, you guys, I don't know if you've, uh, how many of you have actually dealt with customers and done customer service. And it has its moments. I'll put it that way. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's like, it's, this tea has done an amazing job. And I'm going to do a review for it uh, in, the, in the future. I don't know how far in the future. Because right now, uh, this is week one of a ten week series. Because I have so many teas that I put in the poll, um, I couldn't even put all of them in one poll. And that kind of sucks because, like, to have, like, an elimination challenge, but then you'd have to remember to scroll down and see what else is there. And, you know, that that's... It, it's too much of a hassle, so I just put the top four, and then I'll replace one and uh, and the other as we go down the line. Um, so it's not going to be like a competition, a first place, second place, third place kind of thing. Um, but more like you guys just select it and I do it. Simple as that. Uh, so that's going to be taking up the next 10 weeks, give or take, depending on uh, if another good movie comes out and I go see it on a Friday. T brackets. Yes, that's, that's exactly it. Um, but not as a championship placement. Uh, this can't be a competition. But, it is what it is. So, I don't want my tea to get too cold, because as I mentioned before, I don't think this would make a very good iced tea. Um, I might try it iced, just if I'm brave enough, but where it's heading, I, I don't think so. But I do realize that now that it's cooling down, it's actually becoming a little bit more fragrant. Which is something that I'm really starting to um, appreciate. Now that I'm moving uh, a little bit more, my sinuses are, are clearing up slightly. So whenever I like whiff my head, uh, I catch the uh, I catch the scent, and apparently it's a lot stronger than I can that I can uh, that I can tell. Generally, it takes a lot for me to lose my sense of smell, but. I, and I haven't lost it. It's just, it's just a little bit weakened at the moment. This is the kind of day that I would probably rely on chai a little bit, uh, a little bit much, just to, just to clear me out. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. Uh, so, you guys, want to throw stuff at me? See. Uh, have any questions, comments, uh, anything that you want to talk about? I know generally at this time, I always pull up the, I always get my sister to say what kind of dessert would go with this, but we covered it a little bit with the shortbread and the uh, the honey stroop waffles, uh, something like that. Um, if I were to, if I were to uh, pair this with an actual meal, uh, this is definitely a good lunchtime, maybe an afternoon snack kind of tea. Um, I would go with something, something strong flavored, like, I guess I would do this, maybe Salisbury steak, because you get the gravy, you get kind of like a little bit of the saltiness, uh, you get a little bit of the sweetness from the, from the berry, I knew it, <laughs> you're a creature of habit, you always ask the same question, so, I gotcha, <laughs> um, but yeah, if I was to pair this, I would say maybe a mashed potato with uh, with Salisbury steak. I love Salisbury steak. It's like that that nice little cut of beef um, 
not too strong with the gravy. Um, nice texture to it. I, I really feel like I want to get some Salisbury steak now. <laughs> I haven't had it in a while. Uh, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, I, what else would go well with this? I, I think maybe, I don't want to say seafood, but I can see how it probably can as uh as like a a a lunch maybe a slice of fish with some salad something something light that would complement this well oh i wish it was a little bit hotter now that it's now that it's cooling off a bit um it's it's not that it's losing anything. I think that I'm just right now in the uh what's e bacon? Electronic bacon? I've never had that before. <laughs> but uh what was I saying? Um I lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, I wish it was a little bit warmer. Um not that it loses any flavor when it cools down or when it's rule uh when it's uh room temperature, but like it's the kind of tea that I, I, I just personally enjoy it um, when it's hotter. It's like I don't dislike it any uh, anymore. But I think that... <gasps> oh, I'm fighting them hiccups. But the hiccups are winning. Oh, that's what happens when I drink a lot and uh, and talk. It's I, I, get, I get problems. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh dear God, that was a big one. Oh, stop it! <laughs> okay, I think I think they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> it figures. Always happens uh, in, in cases like this. I want to make sure that this thing doesn't fall asleep on me again. Uh, do you want me to tell you how it would taste with bacon, or are you suggesting that it would go well with bacon? Um, I think that it would, if you were to drink this for breakfast, um, it probably would go well with bacon, just because it tastes so much like French toast. Um, but I don't really feel that this is a breakfast kind of tea. Um, uh, mainly because it's very, it's a very heavy, um... No, well, I wouldn't even say that's a very heavy taste, uh, but more like I, I I want like a bit of a kick to wake me up in the morning. This is a more smooth, more well grounded uh, tea. But if I want to wake up in the morning, I'll drink something stronger, like uh, maybe, uh, well, maybe like straight up pour would help. Um, cause that's got like that, that really gripping taste. Uh, what else? Something caffeinated for sure. I've had English breakfast for breakfast, of course. Um, first thing in the morning, I, I actually, I don't mind a good chai first thing in the morning. Cause you get that, that spice, you get that burn in you. Um, so maybe if I were to drink this with like a BLT for lunch, that actually sounds really good a blt with uh maybe some cheese uh toasted like a panini excellent choice so you guys got any questions any uh comments anything that you want to shoot at me i've got about uh, a quarter of a cup left hmm Mate, yeah, definitely mate for that caffeine kick. Um, I don't like to rely on caffeine too much first thing in the morning, but mate, A1 pure uh, pure choice for first thing in the morning. Uh, last week, I actually started drinking, uh, which one was it? I want to say it was spiced mate, maybe. We'll see. Uh, I think it was a spiced mate or... Oh no, I, I haven't opened up the citrus mate yet. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it was uh, spice mate, but it it really it really kicked because I mean you get the caffeine kick from the mate, but 
also the chai from it had a nice little uh, little burn to it. I think that was like a really a, a really good way to wake up. Want to have another one? Oh, so good. I'm still like I want to put this in the microwave. Uh just just to get that heat going again. Um I like it. Though I I don't think I would want to try it iced. Like the more that it cools down, the more I'm realizing it's not going to be um it's not going to be very good uh as an iced tea just because of the um uh, the fermentation portion, um, I don't know. I don't believe that it, it would make it, but that's just me. I, I prefer my iced tea to be sweet. Uh, so you brave souls, if you ever get a chance, you can try it. No judgment here. You can let me know how it tastes. I, I'm just personally, I don't think it's going to, it's going to go well. Yeah, now that it's cooling down, I think I want to... <laughs> I I think that if I had drank this faster, it would be a little bit more satisfying. Oh, I just got a notification. Yeah, it, it just told me... I, I placed an order online um, for another... Uh, well, it, it sent two samples, and I purchased one of my own uh, blends, which I might be adding to the ballot later. We'll see. Um... But right now, uh, I, it just said, it just said that my uh, my package went out. So, hooray! Uh, it should be here sometime next week. Um, I ordered what is it? Uh, one of uh, chocolate apple chai. I called it chapel chai. Um, I feel like the inspiration was was just there. Uh, I mixed cinnamon apple chai with. Uh, with the chocolate chai, and it was pretty good. So, we'll see. I, I added a couple more things to it. Uh, we'll see what it's like. And if you guys want me to put it on the ballot, I will. Um, and we'll all try it together. Uh, I, I'm biased because it is my own blend, so I'm not gonna... I, I, if I, In case you guys haven't noticed, uh, I didn't vote in the last one. Um, and I'm not going to vote within the next couple weeks just because um, it's so easy to say, hey, Mike, if you're voting for it, why not just do it, right? So I don't want to have that kind of uh, of say on the matter. I want this to be completely up to you guys. Uh, I want this, uh, I want the community to be as active and as, uh, you know, to, to, to put... To, to to have as much action in the co uh, in the uh, in the comments and uh, just as much action as you can on the actual community because this guy this group belongs to you guys too. Uh, although I do make it a point to add to it every week, uh, every day of the week, um, it's 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 in your guys' hands too. I mean, I want you guys to have free reign. You know, I mean, within reason. You know, I don't want you guys to, like, start doing, like, all this crazy stuff. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make this an actual community uh, rather than just, you know, having to rely on me to post everything every day. Yeah, you guys, I trust you. You're awesome. <laughs> so, enough about that. Uh, I'm down to my last couple sips. So, go ahead. Throw something at me. Mm. Oh, I'm going to have to drink that fast. It's starting to get like a little bit... Uh, like a little bit watery. Like the cool... The, the more it cools down, uh, I'm tasting the water and the lavender more than anything else. Which, I mean, it's not a bad taste, but... Um, like, it's, it's starting to get a little bit weak, and I don't like weak tea. <laughs> Once it starts getting too watery, uh, too flavorless, uh, I, I call it quits. <laughs> That's all there is to it.
But I'm down to my last sip, so it's now or never, guys. Mm. You guys have any questions, any comments? Um, I guess I'm going to start wrapping this up here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, post my poll sometime next week, probably around Tuesday, Wednesday, same, same uh, as last week. And you guys are going to let me know which ones you want to see. Um, unfortunately, there's no way for, for you guys to order this one. So uh, if you're in the Chicago area and you want to take a trip down to the State Street Adagio, uh, tell them that I sent you. Uh, this is... What, it's, it's it's highly recommended. Like I love this this tea, um, and well, we'll we'll see what I'm doing next week. You guys will decide for me. I'm leaving the power in your hands. Uh, and with that being said, have a wonderful weekend. Have a great week next week, and I'll see you later. Have a good night.